episode was bringing out we are israel united in christ we out here to show our people who we are according to the bible all right we out here to wake the people up all right because right now we are clearly sleep our people sleep out here how do we know because as soon as we got in in here into this apartment complex guess what we see guess what we saw we saw a woman twerking on top of a car is that what a car is used for kids that's not what it's used for. How does how does these young kids out here know that a car is not used to be twerked on top of? It's used for what? My 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 young people out here. Because what is what is a car used for? For driving. For driving and for riding in. But guess what? Our, our black women out here, they're so destroyed. Guess what? They want to use a car in order to whore the, themselves out. They want to use a car in order to twerk on top of it, to, to show they behind. Is the Lord okay with that? How, how, does, how does God feel about that? He feels horrible. So guess what? Don't use that as an example. Young sisters, don't use that as an example. Use our foremothers as an example. How are we, so, how are we supposed to dress, y'all? Good. All right, so, so let me ask y'all a question. Get uh, Modest Apparel. So for a woman, right? Is she supposed to dress in super tight clothing? No. 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 Is she su uh, supposed to dress in tight skirts? No. All the way up to her thigh? No. How is she supposed to dress? You're supposed to dress how like you supposed to dress to your knees. To all the way down, really down to 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 your legs down here. All the way down to your legs. You know what that's called? That's called dressing modestly. Right. All right, so that's how we are all supposed to dress. We're not supposed to reveal anything, and that's what God commands us. What about shorts? Shorts are for boys. All right, give me. Let's, let's get this real quick. Hold on. We're going to get it for you. Go ahead, Rick. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. And like men are also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So God commands the Israelite women, right, to adorn yourself in modest apparel. So young sisters, young sisters. So when, guess what? Y'all aren't shaped like a boy. You're, you're shaped like a girl. All right. So for a, a girl and for a woman, God says he wants you to cover that up. He wants you to cover it up all the way up until marriage. All right. So when you get married, that's when... You know, your, your husband is supposed to see a little bit more of you. But guess what? While you're young, while you're a young girl, right? And while you're proving that man, guess what? Nobody is uh, supposed to see how you're shaped. Nobody. So you need to go tell your mom, hey, mom, the Bible says, God says, the father of the Israelites, the father of our people, he says that we are princesses. And guess what? We are supposed to dress like one. We are supposed to dress like princesses. You need to go tell your moms. Tell your, tell your dads. I don't want to wear shorts no more. I don't want to wear revealing clothing. Because guess what? That's how the Lord views you. That's right. You are not a regular little girl. Y'all ain't regular people out here. No. Y'all ain't. Y'all are royalty to God. Oh, yeah. oh. And because you are the children of the Lord, the Lord says, I want y'all to represent yourselves as my children. Right? So you're supposed to dress modestly, dress royally. So when you when the you see the, the grown-ups out here, they dressing in super tight, revealing clothing, guess what? They're not representing themselves as a child of God. Who are they representing themselves to be? By themselves, but also in representation of God or the other God? Of Satan. That's right. Of Satan. Right? So that's exactly what it is. So our, our sisters, they need to wake up and they need to start holding each other accountable. That's right. All right. So lead, let's read it again. In like manner also that women adore themselves in modest apparel. No, twerking on top of a car. In modest apparel. No, wearing skim type clothing. In modest apparel. No, revealing her cleavage. Modest 
a barrel. So God commands, he commands the black woman to cover up your body. That's right. That is a commandment according to God. And guess what? He says, if you don't repent, if you don't change, you're going to die. Right. Right. That's what the Lord says. If you do not repent, guess what, sister? Christianity has lied to you. That's right. Christianity has lied to you, and they convinced you that it doesn't matter what you do, that God is going to be okay with your actions. But that's not according to the Bible. That's not according to the Bible. That is no scripture. There's no scripture that says all you got to do is believe in your heart, and I can be a crackhead all the way up until I die. I can twerk on top of cars. I can twerk for these cameras all the way up until I die, and the Lord is going he's going to forgive me no matter what. That's what's taught to our people. That's the delusion that's taught to our people. Let, now let's get uh, let's get Deuteronomy chapter 22. So let's 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 prove it. Let's prove it out of the Bible. How does the Lord want our, our brothers and our sisters to dress? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You, you hear that, my sister, my brother, my brother. You hear that, my sister? You, it said, the Bible says, God says, 10-4. The Bible says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. You hear that, my brother? What's your name, bro? Philip, what's your name, my sister? Didi. Didi. Philip Didi. All right, so let's read it one more time for Philip and Didi. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You know what that means, brother Philip? It says the woman shall not. That is a commandment from God to us. He says, shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. What pertains to men? What is it? Skin. Skin? She shouldn't be pertaining herself to a man as if she's available. Right? But as far as apparel, as far as clothing, what does that look like? Things I don't like either. Hey, mama do this. It, what, what's, what's Sister Didi got to say? What you think, sis? What is this scripture right here? Read, read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You shouldn't be walking around with, uh, um, dressed like a, dressed like a man. That's, that's it. That's it right there. We should always walk around covering ourselves. Exactly. 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 So you hear that, Brother Philip? Let their mind wonder what they look like. Exactly. All right. So my, my Brother Philip, she explained it. She said the, the, the scripture meant that a, a woman is not supposed to wear what men wear so so what is that what is that today what are you wearing right now that she shouldn't wear because she's a woman you you're wearing it right now go a little bit lower all right a little bit high. You, what is what is these right here your pants right right so this is talking about pants a woman should not be wearing pants. That's right. And that's a commandment from God to us. From God to his chosen people. Because that's who you are, Brother Philip. That's who these children are out here. That's how who you are, Sister Didi. That's a commandment for his chosen people, for the royalty on this earth. He says, read on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment? A dress. It's that simple. The Lord is giving us these commandments for a reason. That's right. For our protection. But what do our people do? We disregard them. Give me a uh, Proverbs chapter 1 verse. No, not yet, not yet. Verse, start at verse 24. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24. Right, so he gives us these commandments for our protection. Protection from what? From this world. From this world, Brother Philip. From the society, exactly. That's who God deems as the world. Because guess what? The, the world is killing us. The world is killing us. Hold on, bro. What's your name, bro? My name is Alvin. This lady right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She said what? This lady right here don't know who this is. She don't know who that is? Well, that, that is a depiction right there. All right, so... Go ahead, read what you got. 
Proverbs, hold on, hold on. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 24. Uh -huh. Because I have called and ye refuse. So, so guess what? This is talking about us. God says, because I have called, right? I have called, thou shalt not. That's him calling. That's him commanding. Because he's called to us. Read on. I have stretched out my hand. He has stretched out his hand. You know how he does that? With his laws. Those laws are boundaries so that we don't fall as a people. He's calling to it. He's reaching out for us. He's saying, if you take my hand, guess what? I'm going to protect you. But he can't protect nobody that's rebellious. If he's calling us to follow him and we say, Lord, I know you're calling us to go right. I want to go left. How the hell, how the heck he going to protect us? We ain't supposed to question it. But guess what? Not only do we question, we do the opposite of what he tells us to do. Read on. And no man regarded. And no man regards. So when you look at our people today, who is really out here regarding God? Who really cares about this Bible? These kids, they in the spirit. Out of everybody, out of all of these adults out here, the spirit is on these kids. The spirit is on these kids. That is a shame. And nobody is holding our people accountable. Nobody. And that's why we stay and sleep out here. And that's why we got to continue to experience what? Oppression. Read on. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. We have set at naught all of the Lord's counsel. This is his counsel right here. All the words of this Bible is the Lord's counsel. We say, we don't want to listen to that Bible. We don't want to listen to the prophets of God. We want to go in a house, experience air conditioning, and watch Netflix so we can chill. That's the mindset of the black man today. That's all we care about. Entertainment. That's all we care about. We don't care about what the Lord thinks. That's right. Read on. And with none at my reproof. And with none at none of his reproof, which is correction. What correction? Our sisters out here wearing pants. We bringing it out that the Lord says he ain't dealing with that and y'all better change before I come deal with you. How is he going to deal with our people that don't repent, my brother, Brother Philip? How you going to deal with them? Damnation. And that goes way past this flesh right here. Because all, everybody going to die. Everybody's flesh out here, all of it is going to die. It's going to rot one day. But guess what? That's talking about your soul. That damnation is for your soul. So that's why we got to hearken unto the Lord. Read on. I also will laugh at your calamity. What does the Lord say about our current condition? I also will laugh at your calamity. So guess what? When we get shot down in the streets, Right? No, no justice, no peace. We out here marching for the white man to, to give us justice. And the Lord created that man to do exactly what he's doing to us today, which is oppressing the hell out of us. That's right. That's why he created that people, to oppress us. And we over here marching in front of them like we about to change their spirits. The Lord created them for that. He ain't changing a damn thing in them. That's their job to be the, the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's their job. And guess what? They gonna keep being the devil to our people. Why? Because we don't want to hearken to this Bible. We don't want to listen to the Lord. Read on. I will mock when your fear cometh. So God says he's going to mock when our fear cometh. So guess what? More oppression is coming, black man. More oppression is coming. More modern day slavery is coming to you, black man. And guess what? The Lord is going to mock if you ain't in the mindset to repent. If you're not in the mindset to repent, the Lord is going to mock at you. And he's going to let it happen. Read on. When your fear comes as desolation. When your fear comes as a desolation. Right? As a desolation. Our people are destroyed out here. 
We, we tweaked out. We on drugs. We selling drugs to our own people. And then we deal with each other face to face as if we're not killing each other on a daily basis. Right. Something's really wrong with us. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.